And now to extra depth on a woman and former Army captain found not guilty of intentionally killing her boyfriend and fellow Army captain during a crash in East El Paso. ABC 7 reported when Clevy Machette Nelson Royster was acquitted by an El Paso jury on February 29th last week. She was found not guilty on charges of murder, manslaughter and aggravated assault with a deadly weapon in connection to the death of Captain Malcolm Perry, who was stationed at Fort Bliss. The deadly crash happened in October 2020. The attorneys on both sides of the courtroom are talking to ABC 7 about the outcome. First, defense attorney Brock Benjamin relayed how Nelson Royster reacted to the not guilty verdict. She was extremely, uh, I think overwhelmed is almost the way to describe it. You hear those two words and even as a defense attorney, I mean, you feel a lot of relief, but clients as a group just seem to almost melt when they hear those words because there's nothing else that we do in the world that I can think of where you're either going to go to prison right now or have a nice day, Ms. Vi. You know, you get to go home. It took nearly three and a half years to come to a conclusion with Clevy Machette Nelson Royster spending 14 months behind bars at one point. Police say she was the passenger in her vehicle, which was driven by Richard Senesi, when Senesi allegedly slammed into Captain Perry's car, causing him to crash. He ended up dying from his injuries. Attorney Benjamin said Nelson Royster and Perry were dating and had been out together, including at a strip club in East El Paso the night of the crash when things went south. They, they proceeded on a theory that she intended to kill him. Clevy and I, you know, you got to respect a client who um, has enough faith in their um, innocence to go with the idea that, no, I'm not going to ask for anything else. Um, didn't ask for a lesser. And so the jury was tasked with a, a, trying to fit a version of events into something that didn't work. We believed in the, in the facts of the case. We believed that... that Miss um, Nelson was uh, guilty of the of the offense that we had charged her with, uh, one of the three, either murder, manslaughter, or aggravated assault. Uh, unfortunately, the jury didn't see it our way. That's the way it goes. Uh, we don't second guess juries. Juries have their their opinion. And Brock Benjamin said Nelson Royster was discharged from the Army and is now working on relocating from El Paso back to where she's from on the East Coast and is looking at logistics jobs. Meantime, court records show Richard Senesi's murder trial is slated for April. I asked Benjamin how he and Nelson Royster knew each other, and he said they had mutual friends but had only met at clubs the night of the crash.